which is a pretty good transition to the French Mint project. Can you tell us a bit more about it? What is it exactly for people who don't know? Um, how you started it? Why you wanted to start it? When you started? Well, the French Mint project is a sort of, it's quite a large project um, to put, simply to promote the music of the Austro-Hungarian composer, Franz Schmidt. His 150th birthday is in two years' time, in 2024, December 2024. And I would love to draw his music to the sort of forefront of our orchestral programming mm. so that for his 150th, we play lots of it and we really sort of use it to inspire audiences and draw them into the concert hall back into this live music where acoustics, which is very important to all of us, really matter. So in order to sort of make this project work, the sort of the backbone of it is I'm creating a new cycle of recordings of his symphonies. There are four symphonies and we also do the carnival music and in intermezzo from Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. And we, a few weeks ago, we finished doing all of the recording, which you guys came yeah. to in the final sessions. Incredible. Um, so we recorded all the symphonies and the Notre Dame music with the BBC National Orchestra of Wales. Yeah. I have also created other bits of content, which I will continue to create. So there's a website where you can find performances of Franz Schmidt, uh, information, little bits of literature about him, some written by me, but mostly by other people. Uh, I've also started actually quite similar to this, a set of interviews of um, conductors and musicologists and historians all about Franz Schmidt, called the Franz Schmidt Interviews. Mm -hmm. um, and over the next year, I, I aim to build up a sort of a library of research about Franz Schmidt, about his contemporaries and about Vienna, during that period, I'm totally in love with Vienna. Actually, I'm in love with it now as a city, but also this sort of powder keg, this firework of a moment that was, you know, 1899 to 1928, 1930, where just so many people uh, sort of gravitated towards and so many different art forms and artists and poets and books were written in so many different ways. Scientific advances were made. It was a real, I mean, there are others, but it was a really special moment, I think, in humanity. Um, and Franz Schmidt, whilst not being one of the famous central figures, like you would say Mahler or Schoenberg or Klimt or Schiele uh, or Musil, any of those were, he was absolutely part of that world. Uh, he was head of the Vienna Conservatoire, so he was teaching a lot of the youth at that moment. He was friends with all of these guys. He was involved in first performances. And although his music is perhaps in some ways looking more back, that is still part of the zeitgeist, uh, is that it was not a moment of modernism, of breaking from the past. It was really a moment of pushing the past to its extremes. Um, and I think that Franz Schmidt is a really important person in that story. Are you planning to do a performance there in Vienna about well, part of Franz Schmidt projects or not? Not yet, but I am working on it. I hope so. Okay. I would love to. Um, I would also love to. I mean, I would love to perform his music in Vienna, but I would also love other people to perform it in the year. Uh, the, the project is is led and driven by me, but is not about me in any sense at all. It's about Schmidt and his music. Okay. You just did recordings. Or did you do also some performances? Yeah, I've performed that? his music a lot, okay. both leading up to the recordings and after some of them and um, have dates in the diaries to do more over the next few years. 